Hello awesome friends and welcome to Chelsea's YouTube channel. For those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to Chelsea's awesome journey and meron din siyang FB page. Awesome, uh, Chelsea's awesome journey din. Okay, um, please subscribe, like, and share. Our topic for today is about how to teach handwriting skills and most of the parents, ito yung problem nila uh, because they find it very difficult to teach children with disability um, how, to hand, uh, how to do handwriting. Uh, mga bata nag wine nag cry they don't want to touch the pencil. So ano ba dapat natin gawin? Pa the foundation of the good handwriting begins with the following skills and that is the pencil grass and, and the proper letter formation when we introduce handwriting to the children we must focus on these two skills we should introduce right right skill at the right time bakit ko sinabing right skill at the right time because a lot of parents and teachers they jump uh, they jump the gun when it comes to handwriting. They begin their instruction by uh, by writing on the lines. Okay? Kaagad-agad writing on the lines or following the broken lines na kaagad yung pinapagawa ng mga teachers o kaya ng mga parents. We must also know kung ready na ba ang bata para sa handwriting nila. Bakit siya nagwawain? Bakit siya umiiyak? There's a reason for that. No? baka naman yung reason niya is hindi pa fully developed ang kanilang fine motor skills so we, ha we need to go back to the basic and that is de to develop and strengthen the fine motor skills first so kung ang anak ninyo ay ayaw niya magsulat may dahilan po yan baka fine motor skills po ang kailangan nila so kung ganyan ang case ng mga anak ninyo forget about handwriting muna just focus on fine motor skills and there are a lot of uh, activities how to uh, strengthen and develop the fine motor skills nasa video ko po yan uh, paki scroll down na lang so nandyan yung mga activities mga fun ways on how to develop teach fine motor skills to our children let us now talk about the first foundation in handwriting and that is the pencil grasp so what is a pencil grasp? A pencil grasp, this is the way a child um, holds the pencil. The goal is to use the tripod or the pincer grasp. Okay, bakit tripod po ang pinapagamit when it comes to handwriting? Because tripod grasp, it, it is the most efficient and less yung fatigue sa, sa arm muscle and sa hand uh, muscle niya. Many young children hold their pencil in a closed fist grasp. So, kung ang anak ninyo ganyan pa rin humawak ng kanyang pencil, uh, ibig sabihin, hindi pa fully develop ang kanyang uh, fine motor skills. Dapat po try pad tatlong daliri lang. Okay? Kung ganyan pa rin siya humawak ng pencil, ng crayons, that means to say, hindi pa fully develop yung mga yung kanyang fine motor skills yung kailangan pa niyang exercise yung mga muscles niya sa kanyang mga daliri okay at at kung gumag, kung gumagamit man siya ng pencil at um, he moved yung buong arm niya okay um, nakakafatig po yun so ibig sabihin kailangan pa rin natin ng fine motor skills activities for that so kailangan Pag nag-handwrite nag na yung bata, ito lang ang kanyang ginagamit. Ito lang ang nag-move, hindi yung buong kamay niya. So, si Chelsea noon, ganyan siya. Buong kamay pa rin ang nag-move sa kanya. So, ang ginawa ni teacher, more on uh, fine motor skills talaga. May strengthen yung kanyang kamay para hindi nangangalay. Okay. We need to take to consider also uh, what we call the dominant hand. Okay? Dapat uh, at the age of 5 years old, meron na siyang hand preference talaga. Is it the left uh, uh, left hand or the right hand? So, in case ni Chelsea, left-handed siya. So, how do you know kung may dominant hand na siya? Ang sabi ng therapist niya, 
um, ilagay-ilapag yung pencil sa table at hayaan kung anong hand ang unang kukuha uh, sa pencil. So, kung ang anak ninyo pa iba-iba pa yung kanyang pagkuha, pagdampot sa mga bagay-bagay, ka even when eating, that means to say wala pa siyang hand preference, no? wala pa siyang dominant hand. So, we need to observe on that para malaman natin kung saan talaga siya, kung anong gagamitin niyang kamay. Is it the left hand or the right hand? For no hand preference pa, you need to provide again, back to basic, you need to provide a lot of activities for fine motor skills. So, how can we do that? How can we strengthen the hand? Um... You can do different handwriting position. So usually nakaupo lang. Yun ang first position natin yung nakaupo na may desk na or may table. Uh, there's an other ways para tumibay yung kanyang kamay para hindi palipat-lipat yung paggamit ng kamay niya sa pencil. Uh, pwedeng nakatayo facing the wall. Ayan, maraming makaka-relate niyan. I'm sure marami sa inyo yung mga wall ng bahay nila ay puro murals katulad namin. Maraming ng drawings, marami ng kung ano-anong makikita mo sa wall from our room hanggang sa from the bedroom hanggang sa living room. May mga drawings na yung walls namin. So pinababayaan ko na muna until such time na lumaki na siya at doon na, na lang namin ipapa-repaint. So, yun na. Para naman maiwasan naman yung pagsusulat sa wall, pwede naman kayong gumamit ng, you can use manila papers, i-dikit lang, and then you give your child the pencil or the, the, the um, tawag dito, pen, tail pen, whatever writing materials that you have. Then, papagsulat nyo siya ng habang nakatayo. Okay? So, isa yan para ma lumakas yung kanyang arms. Okay? para hindi lang yung laging nakaupo kasi it, that is a one way para ma, ma strengthen yung buong arms niya okay kasi ganun yung ginawa kay Chelsea noon so aside from sitting standing pwede rin yung nakahiga or nakadapa nakadapa sa floor facing the floor and then bigyan niyo siya ng handwriting niya handwriting materials doon magdoodle siya Uh, magdrawing, magsulat ayan, pabayaan nyo muna siya kasi isa, isa rin yan sa tips kung paano may strengthen yung kanilang fine motor skills so for handwriting position pwede yung sitting, standing and lying or lying on the floor or yung nakadapa let us go now to the second foundation and that is the proper letter formation when we say proper letter formation this is the letter strokes All letters should start at the top and go down. This is the problem of Chelsea. Si, si Chelsea kasi minsan mali pa yung kanyang proper uh, yung kanyang stroke. Okay? Minsan right to left, ganyan. Uh, bottom to bottom to top. Dapat top to bottom yung pagsusulat ng ng mga letters. Now there are different steps on how we can teach uh, letter formation for our children. Unang-una, we need to start with the tactile activities. Ito yung mga, mostly ginagamit ito ng mga Montessori schools. Tactile kasi dapat na natatouch nila yung mismong shape ng mga letters. Ang, ang explanation dyan, mas mabilis ma-recognize ng brain natin, mag sa brain natin kung na nasasalat natin, nahahawakan natin ang isang bagay kesa sa nakikita lang siya. Kasi remember, ang pinapat ang tinuturo natin is yung the proper stroke, yung tamang pagsulat ng mga letters. Now, if you don't have the Montessori materials, you can make your own. Ako ang ginawa ko, gumamit ako ng glue gun tsaka glue stick. So, meron akong mga letters dyan din nilagyan ko siya ng glue gun glue stick ko siya no? gilugan ko siya yung mga, yung mga letters and then pinapahawa ko kay Chelsea noon uh, pwede rin namang mga yung sand lagyan nyo lang ng glue yung mismong letters tapos iano nyo sa sand para dumikit yung sand so we have already the tactile um, materials and then pwedeng 
After the tactile materials, pwede na kayong gumamit ng mga line papers na. So, visual activities na tayo. For, the, for line activities or line papers, it is better to use thick lines muna. Hindi, dapat makakapal na lines muna yung uh, ipagawa natin, no? yung nakikita ng bata, na ipafollow niya yung broken lines o yung dotted lines. Ayan. Uh, para naman mas mabilis nating maturuan to follow the broken lines o yung i-fill yung broken lines, ang ginagawa ko naman kay Chelsea, yung ninaminate ko yung papel tapos nilagyan ko ulit ng glue gun ginlugan ko yung yung taas at baba ng broken lines para pag nagsulat siya hindi niya uh, iisang line lang talaga siya hindi siya hindi pupunta sa iba't ibang direction yung yung kanyang isusulat so ipapakita ko yan makikita niyo diyan yung mga pictures Uh, nang ginawa ko para kay Chelsea so use thick lines and broken lines aside from the broken lines pwede naman yung mismong letter using um, pen no? ang tawag doon um, parang markers okay, makakapal na markers then doon niya mismo isusulat din yung mga, yung mga letters or yung name niya Uh, si Chelsea, ganun, ganun din siya nag-start. So, let us do a recap. Okay? So, again, the foundation for handwriting is the hand grip, pencil grip, and the uh, proper hand stroke. Okay? Um, but, let's go back to basic. Dapat i-observe muna kung ready na ba yung anak ninyo. Sabi nga, teach the child the proper skill, the right skill at the right time. So, you need to observe kung ready na ba siya o hindi. Kung hindi pa siya ready, go back to basic. Um, uh, strengthen the fine motor skills first and then kung ready naman siya, then you can proceed to the foundation of the handwriting. That is the pencil grass. Dapat tripod na siya and then Uh, the proper stroke na madali nang ituro yung proper stroke uh, using thick lines broken lines and, at marami pang iba so ang, ang bottom line nito dapat mayroon siyang good foundation ng kanyang fine motor skills so hi, ayun, I hope I shared something uh, important to you na makakatulong sa pagturo ng handwriting sa mga anak natin and always follow yung mga uh, videos ni Chelsea uh, katulad nito so again, yung hindi pa nagsusubscribe please do subscribe and turn on the notification para whenever we have a new videos like this ma-watch ninyo uh, para magkaroon kayo ng mga ideas on how we handle children with uh, ASD and other disabilities as well as to how we can teach them the proper ways uh, para sa kanilang learning journeys. Bye-bye! See ya!